Now, you recently wrote an article about the possibility of another silver squeeze coming in the future and all the demand for uh, silver, especially in the solar market. Um, when it comes to where we are in the precious metal bull market right now, some people are saying, you know, things are getting overpriced. But in your view, it seems like there's a lot a lot of um, a lot of room to run for both gold and silver. Can we focus a little bit on the silver supply right now and why it is so bullish for silver? Yeah, well, so several things are happening in the silver market. One is that um, silver is now a market that is in deficit. In other words, the world's silver mines aren't producing enough silver to satisfy the current demand of uh, fabricators, people who use silver industrially, and investors, people who buy silver coins and bars. Um, so what we're doing now is we're, we're using up the available stocks of silver out there. And that's just generally, conceptually, that's a, a bullish thing. That means prices will go up over time um, to bring things back into balance. But there are, there are reasons to think that the... Um, the, the consequence of the silver deficit is going to be felt sooner and in a bigger way maybe than you might expect. And one is that um, I think it was Bix Weir who, who looked into the numbers on how much silver is being used by the solar panel industry. And he found that it's much more than the, the silver experts out there thought up to this point. Um, so that the deficit is actually bigger than we were thinking. Um, and then at the same time, um, another analyst whose name I don't remember um, came out with a, um, an analysis of the above ground available silver to, um, to soak up the deficit. And he said, it's going to be gone in two years. You know? So it, it could well be that, uh, that we're running a bigger deficit than we thought. And the um, silver inventories available to cover that deficit are, are less um, – less available than we thought at the same time. And that that brings the, um, you know, the crisis in the silver market where one of the big exchanges defaults and just pays cash instead of silver and everybody realizes it's all gone and the price goes straight up. Um, that was kind of out there somewhere in the indefinite future. So now maybe it's in the intermediate term future now where we actually can put a time frame on it uh, that in the next few years, the dynamic in the silver market changes in a really dangerous way for people who use silver and um, an exciting way for people who are stacking it right now. So who knows? But uh, it's nice to see those numbers coming out. Oh, and one, one other thing that just came out that's favorable for silver is India uh, just announced that their silver imports um, in the most recent February were up like 260% year over year. So that means that it's possible that demand for silver um, from um, the Asian markets, which are big buyers of silver normally, is actually higher than is being built into today's models. So <clears throat> put it all together. And, uh, and the silver story is really exciting. So I here again, I don't think you want to just mortgage the house and buy silver. But I, I do think that uh, a good dollar cost averaging program that uh, gets you a certain amount of silver or a certain amount of dollar value of silver each month is probably a good thing to have now if you haven't already started one. Now, one of the interesting things when we do start to see a bull market in precious metals, typically people go for gold first and then silver starts to outperform because it's a cheaper, cheaper alternative there. What I find interesting is the narrative has been, well, you know, gold's uh, really making new highs and silver has yet to catch up. But if you do look at the gold silver ratio chart um, over the last couple of weeks, it's fallen substantially. And if you look at from the beginning of the year, the gold silver ratio is actually down. So since the beginning of the year, silver has now outperformed gold. Uh, what do you think that signals for where we are in the bull market? Well, I think that's a normal stage of a precious metals bull market. When it just gets started, people buy gold because that's the big name. Um, and that's the, um, the asset they associate most with inflation hedge and safe haven asset concepts. Um, once gold reaches the point where, like you said, the gold-silver ratio is historically wide, then people tend to start 
you know, they, they look at the price of a Kruger and think, wow, you know, $2,200 for just this one little coin. Um, and then they look at how much silver they get for that, um, that amount of money. And it's quite a bit, you know, there's a nice big pile of silver coins you can put on your table for the price of one Kruger and or one gold eagle. Uh, and people start doing that instead. They start buying silver because it's cheap. Uh, and it's a very illiquid market in the best of times. So when that new demand comes in, it starts pushing up the price at a rate that's higher than whatever gold is doing. And you get the gold silver ratio shrinking and silver outperforming gold and the silver miners outperforming the gold miners. And we're kind of in that part of the process now based on what we've seen this year. Um, now, the thing is that it, it doesn't just end with today's kind of action. It usually, it usually ends with a parabolic move where gold spikes, but silver dwarfs the percentage gain in gold. Um, that happened in um, 1979 to 1981, give or take. And it happened in um, 20, 2009 to 2011 or so. So if we see that kind of action um, again in gold and silver, then silver is going above $100 an ounce from where it is right now. So I, I expect that to happen. It could be derailed by all kinds of crazy other things going on in the world. But uh, just based on fundamentals, uh, I think that's the kind of thing we'll see in the next few years. And it will be you know, a lot of fun and a lot of validation for the people who have been waiting for this past decade for uh, something like this to happen.